International House of Pancakes. Here we come. <laughs> Hungry? Yeah. <laughs> Chicken fajita omelet. Best omelet ever. You gonna share some pancakes or something? Yeah, do you wanna get one and I get one? Yeah. We're gonna try some pancakes. Um, we're gonna do the pumpkin spice pancakes. Blueberry. Okay, let's go double blueberry. Double blueberry? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. 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 What is going on guys? Today is October the 13th. So happy Friday, October the 13th. Haven't really caught you guys up on what's going on in my life. So this is a little bit of a life update. I've been in Canada now for a couple weeks. Um, Jeff and I were doing some traveling and now we're here at his place in Kelowna. And we're gonna be here until the beginning of November. Then we're gonna go back to Florida to spend American Thanksgiving with my family. We had Canadian Thanksgiving with his family, which was amazing. It's really different actually than American Thanksgiving. We had a lot of fun spending time with his mom. We did a push-up challenge, if you guys follow me <laughs> on my insta story follow me on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram i do a lot of life updates there on my story so if you want to keep up with what i'm up to what i'm doing or where i'm traveling definitely follow me on instagram so i'll put my instagram here we also celebrated jeff's birthday at a resort called sparkling hill all-inclusive kind of spa and it's a beautiful location jeff and i have actually been there before um so it's our second time going and we had a really good time enjoying his birthday it was really beautiful we did a very fun video yesterday for jeff's channel how many kiwis you can eat in two minutes and it was really fun he got a bunch of kiwis for his birthday from his friends so we had to do something with all of those kiwis so we had a little kiwi eating challenge so who I'll think one yeah definitely <laughs> comment below who you think one and if you're interested go watch it it's a fun little video if you want to have a laugh but the point of the video now that we're gonna be here for a little while until we go back to Florida I want to have a structured program a lot of questions I get asked about are how I structure my programs throughout the week not just what I do for that day what exercises I do so how I plan it out so I am going to talk to you guys about that talk to you about what I'm doing and how long I'm going to be doing it for so I hope you can draw some value from it maybe run the same program as me I was thinking about making a little document and including it in the video just for fun if you want to do the same program that I'm doing maybe it'll help you out if you're kind of like in a rut in the gym kind of can sometimes happen yeah if you want to do it with me it'd be fun gonna have some breakfast ordered some yummy pancakes yeah. here we go thank you so much I got the chicken pita omelet with egg whites some toast pumpkin pancakes and then we have some blueberry mm -hmm. pancakes here they smell delicious and then you got like the original breakfast yeah. Right? Yeah. this is basically what you make for me every morning except the IHOP version here's the damage that was pretty quick toast omelet gone I'm excited for this though wow that's so good <laughs> Yum. Right, blueberry. Those are good blueberry pancakes. <laughs> yeah, that one's better. I like this one better. Yeah. One would be good. I feel like better. What about the blueberry with the blueberry? Is that too much blueberry? Mm, maybe. I'll try this one first. I heard it's better. You have to like company yeah. things. Are you a basic white girl? I'm white. <laughs> no, that's really good. Yeah, it's good. Man. Oh, yeah, that's amazingly good. Blueberry. Okay. See what the blueberry got. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Those are good, also. This out of the way. These are these are better. Thank you so much. Mm. Last bite. I'm cutting myself off. That's pretty, pretty good. good. Looks like it's raining out. No, the weather doesn't look so great. It's like, like this is the first like cloudy, rainy day we've had like since we've been here, I think. Yeah. Rumor had it that Pauling had now turned his attention from proteins to the structure of DNA. The 
weather's kind of ugly right now. It started to rain, so instead of going downtown, <laughs> Jeff and I are gonna make some good use of our time and go grocery shopping. Get so more food. get more food. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this in a future video, but I'm actually going to be implementing a bulk for the winter season. I'm going to talk about my nutrition in that video. We're both going to be bulking. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Yogurt. Also, yogurt. <laughs> it has beans in it. Something more. Higher calorie. Higher calorie? There you go. Yeah. More While basicness. While they have it. While they have it. You know, my mug's been man on nut bread. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Just get it. I'm gonna pick up some salmon. We're trying to have it at least once a week. Yeah, that one looks good. This one's good. We'll, we'll share this one. Chocolate rice cakes. <laughs> uh, Watching the USAPL Raw Nationals. Jeff is streaming it. Uh, Lane's first list. Little smile on the face. A little distraction there, mid-rep. <laughs> you were the obstruction. I'm sorry. You walked, as soon as you did it, you walked right in front of me. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> what, how, much, how much was that? I actually didn't catch it. There was a... <laughs> <laughs> I just completely blocked the whole screen. Oh, yeah. Looks like we need some new ink. I know. Yes. It's 7.30. We have to go a little bit later at night because filming is not always easy. Struggles of a YouTuber are that gyms can be difficult to film in. The fewest amount of people late at night, we want to be respectful for the people around us, so we like to go when it's empty. I don't normally train this late at night, so I normally will take prolific stimulant-based pre-workout. Has caffeine in it, has L-citrulline, also has theanine and citicoline. For tonight, I'm going to be taking two scoops of high volume. It has no caffeine in it. it has L-citrulline though, so it'll be good for the pump. Hopefully I'll get a good booty pump. And then I'm gonna take that and that's it. That's it. <laughs> this is the new flavor, melon berry twist, and it's delicious. It tastes like sour strawberry candy. See you in the gym. What's up guys? So in this voiceover, I want to give you the practical takeaways of my new split. So you can walk away from this video with something you can apply in the gym today. This split has an emphasis on the glutes, duh, hamstrings, and some minor carryover to the quads. Now I'm not going to get into all the scientific theory behind this split because you may just want the practical application. However, if you're interested in an in-depth explanation of how I structured the undulating periodization, choice of activator, stretcher, and pumper exercises on which day and for what reason, comment below so I know you guys want to hear more nerdy stuff. To preface, like most girls, I've always emphasized training my lower body, but I've never run a program that dedicates every session to it, so I'm excited to try it out. Briefly, this is a four-day split, broken up by either a rest day or another body part. The sessions will follow an undulating periodization, like I said, and the exercises have been specifically selected based off of required recovery time. And if you want, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've linked a free PDF in the description box below in case you're interested and wanna do this with me. With that being said, I'm going to explain how to perform all the exercises as well as some mental cues that will help you optimally engage your booty. Day one is a heavy day. And the first exercise is a barbell hip thrust. Make sure to use a bench that is about one and a half to two feet off the ground and rest it between your shoulder blades. I like to pivot my feet out about 30 degrees and make sure to drive up with my heels. Oh, and I got this barbell pad off Amazon. I'll link it below. Next are Romanian deadlifts done with dumbbells or a barbell and use whichever you prefer. Make sure to have a slight bend in your knees. You should feel a decent stretch in your hamstrings and use them to slowly descend as well as slowly ascend without utilizing your lower back. Next up, 
and pretty sure you're all familiar with this exercise, so not a ton of explanation needed. This is a machine abduction, and one thing to note is the varying posture that you can use. So definitely play around with a position that allows you to personally feel your glutes contract. And I feel it best with my butt either planted on the seat with a bit of a forward lean, as well as upright with my butt raised and leaning completely forward. Whichever variation you feel your booty on fire is best. You do you, boo-boo. Okay, so frog pumps might look new to you, but if you've never done it, don't shy away. It's great for the glutes. These can be performed as a pumper exercise with your feet together, head resting either on the ground or on a BOSU ball. Use your glutes to contract your hips up with a good squeeze and then lower it again. Or you can do these as an isometric hold, contracting up and then holding for 60 seconds at the top, really squeezing your glutes. Day two is a light day. So in this training session, you kick it off with goblet squats. Since this is a higher rep, lower weight hypertrophy day, I won't go too heavy. I make sure my stance is in a slight sumo position, meaning feet pointed slightly outwards, and I keep my posture upright and sink into my heels. Another great thing to incorporate with these is doing a slow eccentric or slow on the way down, and you'll really feel it burn. Next are cable pull-throughs. I'm sure you've seen this one all over the gram. I think popularized by the fact that it solely works the glutes and some hamstrings, but no quads, which is what most girls try to avoid. Some tips for doing this exercise are to avoid going too heavy, which will affect the integrity of your form. Raise the lever point up a few notches to be about, I'd say, six inches off the ground, and then take a few steps forward before starting the movement. You want to pull through your legs with your head down and your spine neutral. Try to avoid arching your back, which may look a lot more sexy, but it won't get your glutes firing. And don't forget to squeeze at the top. Moving on to banded seat abduction, which can be done almost anywhere you can find an open place to sit. My favorite resistance band for this is a hip circle. I have the grippy one, and I will link it below if you're interested in picking up a new one. Mind muscle connection is very important for this one, and you want to perform abduction in a short range of motion. This is a pumper exercise, so you essentially want to contract your glutes while pushing out with your knees. Banded bounce squats are another pumper exercise, and they're done with a band around your knees while you pull squat, i.e. partial squat, with a short range of motion as compared to a full squat. And a good cue for this one is to make sure you're pushing out on your knees against the resistance band. Day three is back to another heavy strength focused day. And the first exercise of day three are box squats. If you've never tried these before, I highly recommend them. You can get a good glute burn without having to do the full range of motion of a full squat, which is a great exercise, don't get me wrong. But I hurt my hip a while back and since then it's been hard for me to go too heavy on a full back squat. So box squats are the perfect alternative to that. Next exercise is very similar to a lying leg raise, but this one you're going to have your leg extended out in front of you and then raise your leg from there. If you want these to be more challenging, you can place a plate on the side of your leg, but even with just my leg weight, it was pretty hard. You can also do this one on the floor if it's easier for you. I'll keep this one short because a sitting hamstring curl is pretty self-explanatory, but a simple cue that I use is that I usually dorsiflex my foot or bring my toes towards my shin. And for some reason, this allows me to engage my hamstrings more, but give it a try, see if it works for you. If not, you can position your foot how you feel it best. Bodyweight back extensions are going to be the pumper exercise for this workout. You can either have a lower back emphasis on a back extension, or you can have a glute emphasis, which I've talked about in other videos before, depending on how you perform them. So to hit the glutes, I anchor the pad at a 45 degree angle on the lowest setting. And then I point my toes out and I make sure to round my lower back and really focus on contracting my glutes. Day four is back to another light hypertrophy focused day. And the first exercise of this day is a walking lunge. And since this is a light day and you're going to be doing more volume, don't go too heavy as you will need to be able to recover for your next training session, which if you repeat the cycle will be another heavy day. You can just do body weight or hold on to light dumbbells. Next is the single leg hip thrust, which is significantly easier to set up than a barbell variation. They're still really difficult using just your body weight if you're really 
slowly contracting at the top and driving through your heels. You can also set a plate on your lap to make it even harder. And now I have to admit, doing even just a bodyweight glute ham raise is pretty hard. It's taken me some time to build this strength, but there's no time like the present to start trying if you're new to them. You really want to use your hamstrings and glutes to raise your body up and slowly down for the extra burn. And last but not least is the finisher exercise for this session, lateral banded walks. And these are best done with a resistance band that is not too easy. Again, I'm using the hip circle, which finishes off this workout with a serious burn. Also make sure you are doing a set leading with each leg to balance out the booty burn to each glute. And that is every single exercise for all four days of my split. Obviously I did a set of each exercise just for the video. So I was choosing the weight I feel would be appropriate that day for me not to collapse. However, choose the weight that works with your level of training. And in all seriousness, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful regardless of the split you're running. And don't forget to let me know if you'd like a more in-depth video on the scientific theory behind all this in case you want to either write your own program with exercises that you enjoy more or just enjoy the science of training. So that's all folks. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. More pumpkin goodies. Pre-workout action. It's officially pumpkin season. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs>